Hey, good morning guys. It's Sunday morning here at the Old Barn Homestead channel. My name is Gary and we finally nailed this sucker. After a couple of uh, failed attempts using the glue traps, I bought this brand of Tomcat disposable traps. It looks like a little toilet, but um, it, uh, it did the trick. I was just about to doze off. I was about, I don't know, maybe 11 o'clock last night and I heard click and I knew what it was and I was hoping that the thing would be in there but it's a little guy and I'm guessing that he may have a friend or two in there so I'm going to put it back out tonight and see if I get more or if it was a, just a lone a little one by himself so anyway uh, Sunday morning I've worked on uh, these guys some uh, this is one here that I've been up this is one that they gave me and um I was just about to bend the ends of it and before I did that I stuck some of the scrap stuff in there and I wanted to just practice on uh, you know making this bend here and see if I can get it to it's got a it's got a bend there and then it's got a bend there and come over um, I continue to make a few modifications uh, you know on this thing turned these down on the lathe I already had this one turned um, and turn that down just to make a really tight bend there and that really helped get a, a smooth you know much much smoother bend with uh, without as much heat um, you can see I did a lot a lot of practicing and had a few failures there's one where I didn't I was just free handing that and yeah so it's more of a square one there's a couple of the tight radius ones there that go in the center but as you see out here, as you get more over to these, they're more on a round like that one's not too bad. Uh, here's one here that's pretty good. And you see they don't they don't have quite as much heat in them. And um, you know, a little bit of uh, deformation, but really not much. So, um, and then here's some more. Uh, you can see that one there, I really, didn't do so well you know a couple people have point one let's see uh tertissa tertessa um pointed out that maybe i could use sand in it which i know is a you know common way to to bend tube you know that you don't want to cave in the uh, walls on it and then uh, also making some dies which um which would have the same radius as the tube i looked at some benders online that have the dies like that for small tubing and there's a couple different ones that are around 100 bucks or whatever but they they don't have adjustable radiuses meaning they just kind of bend what they bend and you know and it, it didn't work out to be the same as what at least the ones i saw so i could remake this out of some larger uh stock and use a radius tool and put the radius in there for the tubing and then do the same on this one and i think it would help help a great deal um the jig worked pretty good uh not you know not as good as i thought it would let me show you this again this is the one they gave me this is the one i bent let me flip this around here and um you know it's it's pretty close mine for some reason mine's a little bit wider here at the base than theirs i, I really don't know how much room for you know tolerance they have for the for that those kind of differences and then you know they, they basically said i asked about some flat stock to to uh go you know for those welds because i noticed that the one they gave me has a little piece of flat stock in there that they used to bridge that and he goes ah, don't worry about that you know just bridge over it well and I'm worried about you know blowing through the tube and all that so I'm gobbing filler in there and it just I don't know it, it looks kind of bulky and crappy honestly um, but you know trying to bridge across a large gap I don't know if you guys you know how much better you could really do you know so um, anyway it's a it's, uh, 
Sunday morning, as I said, I'm about to get out here. I'm not going to do any more work on this today. I've really blown a whole bunch of time on this, you know, trying to come up with this. And I think I overthought and overcomplicated this jig. And I want to, I think somebody else mentioned that Jody from Welly, Welling Tips and Tricks made a video on using pipe, you know, to form a jig like this because it does, it does form a radius on the back side that those, whoops, that those ingots are the, you know, the, um, what do you call it? The billets go through, you know, those are round billets that slide up this and get heated. So there is a radius on here that, you know if i could get that laid on a pipe and make a jig out of a pipe and they actually when i went back up a second a third time they showed me a couple of jigs that they had that that they actually used pipe with so um and it was like two two and a quarter uh od something like that but i don't know i don't know if this is really something i want to do or not i mean it, it is kind of attractive to get some production work but you know I don't want to give up too soon, but the problem with it is I've got orders stacking up on me. And Douglas, I don't know if he's watching the video, but man, I, I had a misunderstanding. And um, anyway, long story short, I've had his flag made for, for quite a while. And when I got ready to ship it, I couldn't find his information, couldn't find his email. I looked back through my PayPal. I was like, well, maybe we were just talking about him buying one and he never actually did. But thankfully, he followed up and sent me an email. But anyway i've got his flag and i've got the the crate already made up for it you know so i was getting ready to ship it it just so anyway and it's been a while you know it's been i don't know maybe about five or six weeks no four yeah something like that um four or four four weeks maybe um but you know it's uh i've looked i've seen the other companies online that sell these the main one is called Metalworks, and they, I think they, last time I looked, they had a nine week back order. But anyway, I'm not trying to make excuses, Doug, Douglas. I'm sorry about that. But um, anyway, we got the mouse. Gonna get to work uh, on some other, uh, got a couple orders in that I need to get going on. I'm gonna do, be working on that. I'll probably do a little video on this, uh, a baseball logo that I got an order in for that might be pretty cool um and uh so we'll get to uh, get this table cleaned off i did fill the water up on it the other day you can see i got it up to the top of the slats by the way not to just ramble on here but i did see uh, a lincoln you know i guess they bought torchmate um and sell torchmate now as their own brand and there's a little quick video that i don't know how it showed up in one of my feeds that showed that the water level has a pretty big impact on the cut quality and uh, the amount of dross on the back of it that, you know, too little water, too much water can can really dramatically affect it, which is kind of interesting because I know a lot of guys that have plasma tables don't even have a water table. You know, they just use downdraft or uh, or nothing at all. And um, so I thought that was that was a uh, interesting for sure. But anyway, I got to get going and uh, I'll get this uploaded and then get get going out here and uh, we'll see you guys soon.